well, just back in the semi-final, not the final yet. Um, but yeah, very, very happy, very, uh, very content with the outcome. Um, and especially after dropping my second dive, not panicking, not making any further mistakes and trusting in my ability to, to pull back and, and just powering through because uh, it would have been easy to, you know, get a bit nervous or a bit over anxious and, and make more mistakes. So I was really happy that I was able to do that and, you know, do the rest of my list well enough to make it through. So yeah, I'm just happy and I'm I'm grateful to get another chance to dive tomorrow. These dives are dives that I've been working on for the past five years since Rio. Um, I also have some more difficult options that I potentially could have gone with, but uh, slightly more risky and not necessarily worth the risk at this point. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with the execution of all of them bar one, my second round. Um, but the what how even though I got it wrong, I'm happy with the way that I went about it. So I went about it with confidence. Um, I just had a little bit too much energy, a little bit too much adrenaline and didn't control it properly. So that's a shame, but I'm happy with the execution of all of them. And I know that I've got a little bit more in the tank with all of them as well. They can all get a little bit better. Um, they don't necessarily need to be any better in the semi-final. Um, so, you know, I'm just trying to find that level of consistent performance. Uh, and hopefully that'll be enough to get me through to the final. Uh, yeah, massively the Rio experience helped, you know, to, to get that Olympic, uh, I don't even know how to describe it, but just the, the vibe of being at the Olympics, just to get that out of the way. Um, so that I'm not quite feeling that same kind of vibe, that same kind of um, energy. Uh, it, it actually just feels like another competition so far, which is good. Um, but actually with my previous competitions, it's hard to compare it to because it's been such a long time since we've even competed. Um, you know, I've only done one event in the last uh, 16 months before this one. And actually that event was very tough and it was a very up and down one. And that experience really helped me out. That was the World Cup, which was the qualifier for this uh, for this Olympics. Um, I, I basically did the, the very same thing in the prelim. I dropped my second dive and had to work back throughout the rest of my list. And I just did the same thing again. Um, and, you know, I, I don't want to have to keep doing that, obviously, because it's not ideal, but uh, just having the confidence knowing that I could do it and it was possible, uh, especially after the mistake, that allowed me to just keep on going. And hopefully I can take on some of that energy through to the semi-final tomorrow.